We are going to make a coin flipper simulator for this application. When you get to the Scratch homepage, select Create to start a new program. Let's start off by including the sprites that we need for this particular application. On the top left, select the Costumes tab. On the bottom left, select Choose a Costume. At the top here, select Letters, and then select the H block. Let's rename it H. So just beside Costume here, delete what's there and type in H for Heads. Let's add a second sprite now for Tails. Select Choose a Costume on the bottom left, click on Letters, and then select the T block. Let's rename it to T for Tails. Now let's delete the other two sprites that we won't be using. So select the first costume and click on the little X inside of the trash can and do the same for the second one. Let's return to our code editing area. On the top left, select the code tab. And now we're ready to input our code. For this application, we will need a variable that, that will hold a value of zero or one. Select variables on the left side here. Select make a variable and call it flip. Then select OK. Let's grab that set block because we're going to be needing it. I'm going to make my code bigger so you can see it better by clicking on this plus sign here. Under events, select when the green flag is clicked block so that when we click the green flag, our program will begin. Let's give our variable flip a value. Under operators, select pick random and snap that into place where the zero is. We're going to change the the values that the flip variable can be. So change this to zero and one. So the flip variable can only have a value of either zero or one. If when we run the code, flip has a value of zero, we will display a heads. If it has a value of one, we will display a tails. In order to do that, we need to use a conditional statement. Under control, select the if then else block. So it's the one with the else. So we'll drag that and snap it into place just beneath our set flip block. Now we need a condition. So if the condition is true, then we'll do something. Under operators, select the equals comparison operator and snap it into place inside of the if portion. Under variables, select our flip variable and snap it into place into the first empty spot. If our flip is equal to zero, so change the 50 to a zero, then we will display the H. So to do that, go to looks and we're going to show costume. So just make sure that we have our costume ready. So switch costume. So drag that into place and we will switch the costume to the H to show that it was a heads. Else means otherwise. So if it's not equal to zero, we know that the flip variable is equal to one. So therefore we would like it to switch the costume to T. So now when we run our program and click the green flag, you can see our flip variable is equal to zero with that flip. And so an H is displayed. It looks like nothing happened on the second time, but you just have to keep trying. And eventually, see, you can see a T appear and that's because our flip variable is equal to one. Now we don't want the user to see that. So under variables, let's uncheck flip. So now it will just be a T or an H that appears. So each time I click on the green flag, you will see it will be a T or an H. So that's the first part of our program.